Well, now we can get to the library, where we will read all the books. I need to find the entrance to the Guardian's realm. There is one. You are right in that, but where I would not venture to guess. In the past, when the time came for the Guardian to step down and another to take his or her place, the Guardian opened a gateway wherever it was needed. A Guardian, still in full control of the balance, can invite anyone in and let anyone out. But with the Guardian gone, the only way in would be the point where the Divide was first created, where the tower was built. Isn't that location written down somewhere? Remember that this was done on the old Earth before the Divide. After the Divide, after the creation of Stark and Arcadia, places were shifted about. This entrance may not even be on the ground anymore. What do you mean? It could be up there, in the sky, or far below us, through the crust of the earth into the molten depths below. I cannot say, and I do not know anyone who could. Isn't there any way to locate the entrance to the Guardian's realm? Perhaps with careful investigation of the old texts, histories of Arcadia, of the Divide, the scriptures. I do not know, April, but it cannot hurt to look. Again, you will find these texts at the Sentinel Enclave. Speak with Minstrom Yerin. I need to locate the two dragons that reside in Arcadia. The dry kin? What's the difference? Dragons is a word from your world. The kin are not what they have become in your legends and fairy tales. But they're real, aren't they? Oh, as real as you and me, April. And old. They have been here since before our time. As you probably remember, the kin were instrumental in the Divide, saving mankind from a terrible end. But I know so little. Only what I can remember from my studies when I was a minstrel at the Enclave. How can I get more information on the Drag Kin? Books, daughter, books. The wisdom of the ages. There is one tome you should study, called The Secrets of the Dry Kin, by Minstrom Elniak. It is old but informative, and it captures the imagination. Where can I find this book? Again, you will find these texts at the Sentinel Enclave. Speak with Minstrom Yerin. Well? Thank you, Tobias. Good to know I could help you, April. Let's go to the last place. Where we need to talk to people here. Down at the piers, the old guy, and number way here. Assorted cargo. It's the White Dragon, apparently the fastest vessel there ever. Right. It's called the White Dragon. Hmm. I thought it was called the Dragon. Hello. Uh huh. Do you know anything about a god that fell from the sky into the sea? Of course. You find fallen gods most everywhere these days. They're an air and a hand. Really? No, of course not. There are no fallen gods in the sea. It wouldn't make much sense, would it? If the sea was full of gods just lying about the seabed. So you've never heard of such a thing happening? Now you got it. Bye. Yes, he's not much use. But he will be. But this guy, however, he knows a lot of sea tales, so let's try him. Hello again, old man. Eh? Eh? It be you. I'd love to. Sure, sweetie, I'd be happy to. 
Have you heard a story about a god who fell from the sky into the sea? Ay, that I be having. Although that be a story of man-eating mermen who ravaged the sea of songs, swallowing sailors whole and spitting their bones out to dry. Are you sure you be up for hearing such a cruel tale? I've heard worse. Uh, ye be a tough little lady, be you not? All right. Well, like I be telling yous, the sea of song surrounding the island kingdom of Gien be a treacherous sea where countless vessels have disappeared without a trace. Now, this be near thirty long winters ago, mind, during me second term as captain of the trader, Rocky Lady. We've been crossing the Sea of Songs for two seasons. And we've yet to be seeing any sign of the dreaded bloodthirsty mermen who lurk in the waters off the Guienne coast. That night we be laying still with our sails down, awaiting the wind to pick up and carry us north to Mercuria, when we be hearing a frightful scream a coming from the port side of the Lady Lock. I be the first to rush over and account of me having me arm down the apple barrel. We just been to Arras to pick up one hundred barrels of sweet Guyan apples. And as luck would have it, I be there just in time to witness Sally Barney's horrible fate. He be in the water, screaming and waving his arms, and the water around him be red as a midwife's arms after a grueling bath. I get the picture. Go on. Then I be seeing, I glimpse a large, shiny, sleek body be pulling Sally down and swallow him whole. It be the merman come to claim the body of the sailor who dared across their sea. Are you sure it wasn't a shark? What? Big fish with sharp teeth and dead black eyes and a large triangular fin on top? Ye mean a black-eyed snapjaw? I guess it could have been, but it be no snapjaw. It be the dreaded merman of the Sea of Songs. Where does the sea god fit into all of this? Aye, I be coming to that. You see, the bloodthirsty merman be not only happy with cannibalizing sailors, but they be sacrificing their own to their dark old sea god. Actually... Unless the mermen are human, they wouldn't really be cannibals if they ate humans. Blood sacrifices to their dreaded god who lives on the bottom of the sea. Aye, that be the truth of the mermen, fierce and bloodthirsty cannibals of the Sea of Songs. Uh, thanks. Good story. Aye... I'm all storied out for now. Thanks. Aye, you tell me when you want more, right? See you later. If I not be dead. Well, time to go back to the city and out of it again. This time over here. Hmm. Huh. It's a stone dragon gazing down into the center of the dome like it's guarding the entrance. It's a magnificent piece of work. The dragon's mouth is pointing straight down at the middle of the floor. It's a small recess about the size of my fist with a thin duct extending from the recess to the circular hollow in the middle of the floor. There are three others just like it, arranged with equal distance to each other in a circle and all connected via a duct to the center of the floor. It's a circular hollow, about 20 centimeters across and about 5 centimeters deep. It's emerald green, teeming with life and carrying the pleasant salty scent of distant shores. And now it's really time to read a lot of books. It's one of the Sentinel Minstrel. So let's uh, get on with it here. Oh, goodness me, I didn't hear you come in. By the way, you haven't seen volume six of the complete annotated history of the Northlands, have you? I, I could have sworn it was here yesterday. Sorry, no. I guess someone else must have taken it. 
I try to tell them to write down what they borrow on the list, but they never listen. Only last week I spent three hours searching the entire enclave for the second scripture of the ballads, the scripture of song, before I realized that Vestrum Tobias was studying it back in the city. Now, such incidents could be avoided if only, and uh, this applies to you too, young lady, people would sign out the books they borrow when they borrow them and sign them back in when they're done. Such a simple procedure. It shouldn't take more than a few seconds to jot down your name and the name of the book you borrow. It makes my job so much easier. Uh, now, which book did you want me to find for you? Are you Minster Yaren? Yes, of course. What a silly question. How would I know? I don't know you. I am Minstrom Yerin, keeper of the great library of Mercuria. In fact, this is the greatest library of all the Northlands. Perhaps of the entire world, although they say the Dark People have a library as big, if not bigger, than this one. But of course, we're not allowed anywhere near there. Have you been there? I don't think... What a silly question. Of course you haven't. You're not of the dark people, are you? You don't look like any dark people I've ever seen, so I can't see how you could possibly... Now, where did volume six disappear to? Hmm? Tobias said I should talk with you. Tobias? Uh, Vestrum Tobias? I haven't seen him for... Well, he was in last week, but before that it must have been uh, days at least. How is he? Is still eating enough for two mules? I must tell you of this funny story I heard the other day, of how Vestrum Tobias eats enough for a table full of minstrum. Uh, or was it one Elguan? Although the Elguan don't, as a rule, eat very much at all. Did you know that the Elguan can smell water more than half a day's journey away? Amazing, amazing creatures, perfectly suited for a life in the desert. The balance provides, uh, that's for certain, the balance provides. Vestrum Tobias recommended that I look at some books. Uh, books is what we do best here at the Enclave, that is for certain. Which book would you like to see? Well, as you can see, there's a lot here. And there's even more under... I'm looking for some information, but I'm not sure which book to ask for. No matter. I know a great deal about most of the books in here. What topic intrigues you? Soon more under this one here, so... Let's just start with the... Uh, the... Mermen. I've heard rumors about mermen who live beneath the Sea of Songs, and I'd like to find out more about them. Mermen in the Sea of Songs? Hmm... Uh, let me see what I can find, yes? I did find something of interest. I'll leave it here for you to read. Now. Merum also a merman, mer people, merians. A medical people who reside in the depths of the great ocean and other seas. Little contact has been made with the merum who are believed to have been quite numerous in the past, but are now dwindling in numbers. Confirmed location of Merum cities is between the Bristan, Atoll and Gien, centering on the Sea of Songs. Legends of mermen, merpeople, merians, are rampant among sailors. These stories portray the Merum 
in a grotesque and violent light, betraying the truth of a largely peaceful people. Although not much is known about the Merum, the religion apparently centers around the belief of a benevolent god who lives in the immense depths of the great ocean and who brought the Merum to earth from the place distant and wonderful. Are you done? Uh, let me take that back for you. 